What up, what up, what up? Right back at you. Boy, I want to talk about, you know, those know me. I don't get much into politics. But I really want to dive into this thing here that's going on with uh, this election that's going on with the left wing and the right wing. Two separate wings of the same damn bird, you know. What's going on with Trump, Kamala Harris, really Kamala Harris, and the whole thing with um, Barack Obama and what he's done and the political puppets and so forth. I want y'all to check this out, all right? This is going to shed some light on a whole lot of things, and I'm going to get my thesis afterwards. So, without further ado, pick up your shoulder pads and your helmet. And walking into the end zone with your boy and pop the shit out. Let's get it. The liar knows what lie he told. Hey, you people, something y'all do not know. They are scared of y'all. The black, black community. Y'all single handedly own the power and you can't even see it. The Democrats are so terrified that y'all are going to wake up and see their shit. And they're going to lose their power. They know that y'all hold the y'all y'all single-handedly hold the cards to all of this shit in this nation. You know, uh, Lyndon B. Johnson, what he said, what he what he specifically said. I would have these ninjas paraphrasing, voting Democrats over two hundred years. And what's happening is a large number of individuals are seeing the truth now. A large number of individuals are doing their research. It's not about Kamala Harris, first black president. That ain't going to happen. The things that we're seeing, her supporters, how they throw in shade on Trump supporters. To me, it's crazy. It's ridiculous division but here's the thing why is it that they have y'all focusing your attention y'all should be more concerned of what's going on behind you and stop being so focused on what's going on in front of you because that can, that that's smoking mirrors we're gonna get your attention over here while we plotting over there and before you know it You already know what time it is. Please just wake up and see what kind of control you actually have. If you really want to get technical, y'all are the ones that can save this country. Because the minute that y'all actually see through their bullshit is when they lose their wealth. Talk about white privilege. They will lose their wealth. They bank on y'all. To be honest with you, I'm going to keep it a bean with you. That's what we're seeing right now. We're seeing a large number of uh, black men and women because you still got some that are, 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 are fucking dumbfounded and delusional, but those that understand the assignment, let's paraphrase, those that understand the assignment, we're seeing the shift from uh, Democrat to Republican. Me, I can care less about both because I know about both. I know how this thing go. I just give my thesis and get and share and share my opinions about it. <clears throat> it's not about what I think. It's not about what I believe. It's not about who I follow. It's not what you think. It's what you follow. Okay. And what we're seeing is a large number of black men and women that have done their research. And look what it took. Shout out to Miss Candace Owens, by the way. And shout out to those that took the time to do their research. You will know who done their research and who just following everybody else. And who did not do their research. You will know. See, I'm bringing truth to you. Anytime you bring truth, you get persecuted. But guess what? That word's going to get out there. 
and black men and women need to know. That's why there's so much power in the vote. What makes you think that's why they're talking specifically to the black men? You got to look at it. This feud, this feud between men and women. Open up your eyes. Stop giving them, stop feeding in to the bullshit, the political bullshit. Oh God, what was his name? He was the president. Oh, I should have found that information. He said, we will have the N, he used the N word, and the N word, their vote for the next 200 years, so we got it. They bank on y'all remaining stagnant with their bullshit. I can't wait to see this shit unfold because I'm going to tell you, I, there's one by one, they waking up. The liar knows what lie he told. Black men and women are waking up. No need to throw shade on each other. You can vote for whoever you want to you wanna vote for. But at least you woke. The most, the best time to control a person is to keep them in the dark so they don't know about their true value, their true self. As long as you don't know who you are, as long as you don't know your true value, as long as you don't know your true self, a person can control you and manipulate you. Think about that. That's why I always tell people, know who you are and who you are in the season of your life, embrace it and walk in your truth. And to see a large number of men standing up. And you have some women too. You have some women too. And then you you, you still got a handful over there that's, that's ignorant. But they'll find out later. But this is what I want y'all to pay attention to. And like I said, I, I didn't want to, you know, uh, do my thesis on this one. But it was something that came across my table. Uh, Push the Gap Radio. Shout out to that brother. Go go to his channel. Show him some love. King doing amazing things out there in Texas. I love Texas. I'm a Longhorn for life. You know, Dallas Cowboys training camp in 05. But, um, yeah, the truth is coming out. Everything is being revealed. Slowly but surely. The best is yet to come. To rich man's bullshit. And they're seeing, and they're standing their ground. And once they lose the black vote. Push cap radio, doc. We done dealt with. And shout out to my man. I'm going to let him speak a little bit and see what he has to say. And then we're going to go ahead and close this thing out. Like I said, it's just something short. But even though it's short, it's something that, that's going to stick. You feel me? Let's go. With Obama for eight years not doing nothing for black folk, talking down to black men in particular. And Biden administration is doing even worse. Okay. A lot of black people are no longer supporting the Democrats because you've been lied to and bamboozled. And then you don't hear anything from the vice president at no. all, period. All you see is her standing behind him. She gets at coffee at sometimes and go and make copies. Okay. And the reason a lot of black men don't really support the Democrats is because they're always <clears throat> they're always prioritizing black women and only a certain type of black women. They prioritize those, prioritize those who are working class. They prioritize those who are out here not working and just milking the system. They prioritize them. They do prioritize certain black women, not all black women, but the ones in the boule, they give them some token position. And it's always divide and conquer with us they don't do the asians that they don't do the hispanics that you always want to talk about well the black women came out and voted democrat blacks vote as a block democrat but it's divide and conquer and some of you people are so stupid if you ain't if you don't vote for me then you ain't black how's that working out for you we need to get rid of all of them. Definitely that. From man. both sides. And again, it needs to be an age limit and a term limit. Yep. The total disrespect from the Democratic Party. This is where you have to think logic. Okay, I see what y'all doing. No, I'm not falling for that. You're not going to turn this into a race war so that you can bring in martial law. Oh, now it makes sense. 
Now it definitely makes sense. Hell to the norm.